What up, it's your here. We're free guy out now. I decided to do my reviews for past Ryan Reynolds movies. I'm not going to do my reviews for all of his films, mostly like his lead films now. So here's my review for the really the film that put Ryan Reynolds on the map. And that is the 2002 comedy National Lampoon's Van Wilder. Van Wilder is a really hilarious one. I mean, it is, of course, a college based film starring uh, Ryan Reynolds as well as Tara Reid. Uh, now, Ryan Reynolds has some stuff before, like, beforehand, but this was really the movie that, I guess they fully put Ryan Reynolds on the map for most folks. Uh, and, you know, in it, you got, uh, you got Ryan Reynolds who plays the character of Van Wilder, who's this, uh, seventh year, uh, who's, of course, this, uh, college student who's in this, uh, um, who has, like, pretty much made his life go in helping underground, uh, at this college, um, at this, uh, college college to succeed in their future and all. Uh, and so, of course, you know, after, like, this, uh, Arco is written about his legacy, uh, by fellow student, uh, Gwen Pearson, who's portrayed by Terry. Uh, Van Wilder's, uh, part of lifestyle is also brought to, um, light and, um, you know, this also attracts the attention of his, uh, father, who's portrayed by Tim Matheson. Uh, who also cuts off his tuition, and so like Van, you know, gets stuck in the middle of a love triangle between uh, Gwen and her mean spirit, a boyfriend whose name uh, Richard Dick Bag, played by uh, Daniel Cosgrove. Uh, you also had some other intriguing cast members here too. Uh, you also had you know Cal Penn from uh, Harry and Kumar fame. Uh, you also had uh, you know Dion Richmond was in this, Paul Gleason, remember from. Uh, Remember the um he played the principal in the Breakfast Club. I mean this this film pretty much uh you know felt like you know Animal House in a way, uh and it's such a classic one. It's really hilarious. I mean you got Park Lisa who actually portrays the uh you know professor here. Uh the movie is very very raunchy. It's very um you know it has like lots of party um stuff in it. It has lots of humor. The movie was also directed by Walt Becker, who also uh, directed the movie Wild Hogs. Uh, he directed um, <coughs> he directed the last uh, Alvin Chipmunks movie. He of course has the uh, Clifford movie coming out, God knows when. But uh, you know, I gotta say, I believe this is really the movie that really sentiment on Ron Reynolds into a movie stardom, and he is so hilarious in this. Uh, his like humor stuff was really great. I mean, I've always loved Ryan Reynolds' work, and this movie proves it of how great he um always been. You know, I mean, Ryan Reynolds. You know, he also got a star on a TV show called Two Guys and a Piece, I think it was called, or something like that. Uh, so of course he's been doing stuff like before he you know got the Deadpool gig, you know. And yeah, he's definitely hilarious in this one. Uh, you know, this film is you know has some really you know outstanding fun humor. You know, has a great, like, interesting characters. You know, it definitely felt a little bit like, uh, you know, a little bit like, you know, Adam House. I mean, National Lampoon, there's been some, uh, uh, obviously lots of iconic National Lampoon based movies, and of course, Van Wilder is one of them. They did do a sequel as well that featured Cal Penn, so there was that too. But, uh, nothing beats the original Van Wilder. It'll be cool seeing Ron Reynolds come back as a character again in the future. I don't know if that, that will ever happen or not, but, uh, yeah, I just love uh, Ryan Reynolds as well. Anyway, let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen the Ryan Reynolds classic Van Wilder? If so, what's up? Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? Uh, drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sion.